Hello, little Timmy. Wake up. It's time for your hoi for mandated fun time. Hit the like and the subscribe if the bell's not been clicked. Well, you got a bit of wit about you. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a little series on this channel where I like to play focuses that nobody really does because they suck. Uh, you see, there's a lot of new content in Hoi 4 from when it first released, and a lot of that has been left in the dust because it's not very good and mods do it better. And today, we're going back to Mexico, where I can't actually remember which DLC they got their focus tree in. Which one was it? It's on on screen right now. You see, Mexico is incredibly fun in Hoi 4 because of the Trotsky Path, which allows you to do quite a lot. Which also means that every time you play Mexico, you only really do the Trotsky Path. Um, has anyone ever looked at any of these other? I definitely have not looked at any of these other paths before. Uh, obviously, because a lot of these paths are just uh, not that great when you can go ahead and get Trotsky back, who, if I remember correctly, is just insanely overpowered with his buffs. Uh, you know, I think I'm actually looking at the anti disestablishmentarianism part over here, where we actually just go, uh, like, a Catholic nation. Um, the, I have an option here between the fascisms and the democracies, and I think democracy sounds way more cursed. Uh, I mean, we have the option here of the Legion of Christ or Knights of Columbus, and this one leads to the crusade against atheism, which sounds about as cringe as you can really get. Uh, where on the left here, we can get Knights of Columbus and get Social Catholicism, which uh, actually, that's a pretty good buff right there. Plus, it's pretty close to anarcho coverage it's not close at all, but I just want to make you aware that that is a thing out there in this messed up world we have. Right, since we're probably going to go democratic, I haven't actually ruled out the crusade against atheism yet. I just, I'm not sure if the battle of the fedoras is really what I want. <laughs> actually, God does exist, tips fedora. <laughs> actually, God doesn't exist. Tips, Fedora! I haven't done this in a long time, so I'm a bit confused exactly how I go about actually getting the church annoyed enough that I can go to anti-disestablishmentarianism. But I'm pretty sure I do have to deal with this guy first off, or else he will revolt. And I get the feeling that's not good. That is exactly what we need. The Archbishop Pascual Diaz has passed away, which can buff us up to assertive church, um, which apparently uh, means people are not that good in the factories because they're too busy loving Jesus. We have not invented the train. When you're loving Jesus, who has time for the steam locomotive? There he is. <laughs> Jesus, the strategic bomber. You look a little bit uh, different than I remember, Jesus. Uh, I think it's the mustache. That's right, baby. Jesus is being brought back to the menu. Right, now we do get the option of whether we want to go democratic or fascism. And I do think fascism would obviously be the more fun path, which obviously means we're not going to do it in this series. We're going Knights of Columbus. Now we have achieved the Catholic state, which means people are not very happy. A bit of finagling with our stability, uh, but there you go. We have got it way up where it should be. But if we go below 60, we will get this uh, ticking revolution again, which uh, we'll try not to do, shall we? Uh, now all I've got to do is wait for a bit more democratic support, and we should be good. 40% of people now support democracy, and we can even do the institutional revolution or the Catholic politics, but it does not matter. We go, we have officially become the Mexican Republic, and look at our... I can't really call that a cool flag. But our leader, there, there you go. It's Luis Maria Martinez, and he is ready for Jesus. Um, not because he's ready to pray, but because he looks like he is one step away from death. That's an old man. All right, now what exactly we do as Democratic Catholic Mexico? I'm not too sure, but I guess we'll be playing a supporting role in liberating Europe. When you get to the bottom of the tree down here, you get the choice between getting a 1% uh, recruitable population buff or yourself uh, infantry eight divisions of ten infantry battalions and a guy called Jesus so I guess 
<laughs> I'll get another one. I'm just uh, collecting as many Jesus as, as I possibly can. There he is. Um, doesn't really offer me that much, but I guess he's good at logistics. World War II is kicking off, and I'm still not too sure where exactly I'm going to be lending my hand here. Uh, I'm sure the Americans can see fit that I do something, though. Uh, I'm thinking definitely either planes or tanks, but we will see how it goes. Uh, the, the Axis hasn't been doing too well recently in my game, so I don't think it'll be that much of a struggle. Uh, hopefully that is uh, not some horrendous foreshadowing. We have a choice on who we want to uh, succeed, Louise. I'm not too sure if he just died, but probably looking at him. Pretty much just gonna choose on uh, their bonuses. So this guy's stability, this guy... Nope. And this guy... Actually pretty decent. Uh, only problem is, I am kind of worried. If I get rid of him, he will stop being my uh, guy down here. But you know what? I'm gonna risk it. And we'll see if we can get him in control. We can get him in control twice. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm just... I don't think Mexican politics are very stable. I'm gonna nationalize the oil fields. Why not? Jesus has declared that those melted dinosaurs and their delicious black juice belong to me. Actually, do we believe in dinosaurs? I can't remember what the stance is for the church on whether dinosaurs exist or not, but either way, they're mine. Now, I'm kind of interested to see what happens if I actually go down the German Resource Exchange and join the New World Order. Because I think that means... Will that lock me out of ever doing... <laughs> going into the Allies? <laughs> Who knows? Let's find out. I guess no one really saw this one coming. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna stay here. <laughs> Sorry, Germany. I just... Uh, not quite what was in my plan. But I do appreciate you getting past my focus tree over here. So I guess you can still unlock the expansionist paths down here. A uh, little bit janky. But sure, <laughs> let's give it a go. Not really too interesting interested in their land, but I am definitely interested on the fact the AI will usually stock up a lot of equipment, which I desperately need because I don't have a lot of equipment. Uh, the Allies just saw me in my unjustified invasion of Guatemala, and they are loving it. Invading Central America for like the 20th time is really bringing back fond memories of Hoi 4 A to Z. Yeah, okay, annexing all of them, <laughs> that gave me a lot of guns. Hey, nice. So after looting all of Central America, okay, that, nice. Yeah, that is, that's a lot of guns. <laughs> a lot of guns just called basic and weapons, I see. Uh, yeah, but also some questionable guns down here. How, how exactly did they get here? Okay, I'm not gonna bother with the arrest of the expansion tree for like, um, going down here because you can't actually get them integrated as far as I'm aware. So I'm not gonna bother, plus it's just not fun invading these countries, so we're just gonna stick with it. Uh, plus, you know, once again, I was only really interested in looting their guns for my future war participation. And there you go, the click of a few buttons, these will all be integrated into Greater Mexico. Uh, I, I guess we could also get Panama as well, because we can integrate them as well, but I'm just not going to do it because I haven't invented the ability to naval invade. But now that we've got all this land, it is time for us to be become best friends with the allies. I'm sure they won't really mind my aggressive expansion that much. Jesus has never been more popular. So damn, look at my economy. That is actually pretty insane for the nation that we are, I gotta say. It's one of those games, eh? <laughs> it's one of those games. Realize when we integrated all those, all those guys, we got a lot of factories. Look how much was in these states. That's Actually, pretty insane. I guess they all did the uh, vanilla focus tree and got pretty far down it. So, uh, yes, very nice. Why well, this focus is taking forever, and that's because it is taking forever. It's 140 days for a research slot. Thank you, Paradox. I just got the pop-up for both the fall of Rome and the fall of Leningrad in the same time right there. <laughs> Oh, man. You, you gotta love the AI in this game. It's most certainly something. The tanks are under production. And of course, there's only one thing we can call them, and that is the Pope Mobile. I was gonna say, they're probably gonna take a while to get out, but looking at Europe right now, uh, I think I have time. They actually... Oh, they did. They got the Italian Civil War. <laughs> okay, things might speed up now. <laughs> God, just watching the AI try to do anything is just... 
painful, to say the least. There's no reason I shouldn't join the war at this point. Uh, I'm really not too scared that the Germans may just somehow get over here. It's not really looking too great for the Soviets, but I think they have stabilized it now. <laughs> Does it look stable to you, Timmy? Oh, uh, the Americans are helping me out with my tank deficit with 14 Shermans, which I guarantee are probably a lot worse than what I'm cooking up here. So whilst I'm waiting for uh, our little tanks to be done, I have created a air force, or am um, in the workings of creating a air force. I'm gonna hope to uh, find some German planes to shoot down. Ah, uh, yes, I do be shooting down the German planes. Uh, look, guys, <laughs> I'm helping. Uh, I mean, uh, technically, I'm now on the scoreboard. I am destroying a lot of planes, uh, but <laughs> I guess at the same time, I'm also technically not on the scoreboard. And the front line over here is pretty static, but they are pushing through France now, which is something. Uh, hopefully, I managed to make it over there in time, but a few of my tanks are already done, so we should be there pretty soon. Hey, look at that. We are a tank producing beast and these are some expensive boys. I think they're like 22 each to make. Yeah. I really have and like an emblem that I guess really fits too much. Uh, I guess we could go with the rainbow. The Pope loves rainbows, right? Actually, there you go. Perfect. That's what we want. The tanks are on their way to Europe and just in time because they have just fumbled that entire like breakthrough they just made in France. Um, New Zealand just capitulated, so yeah. Okay, things aren't going too well, but also not going too great for the Japanese either at the same time. I'm not at war with the Japanese, though, so, as I need to borrow their rubber. Let's see just how good our little Pope mobiles may be. They are incredibly good. Uh, uh, Spain just joined the war. Okay, uh, <laughs> time for a bit of revenge, Spain. I made these things incredibly fast too, just so um, we could do some zoom zooming. Look at them go. <laughs> we have just managed to cut off their entire spearhead into France there. Circling a lot of Spanish troops and I'm very morbidly curious as to, yep. <laughs> 250,000 by the Mexican tanks. For about it. Spain, it's just a little bit of revenge for that whole colonialism thing. Yep, they capitulated. And uh, it looks like every other front is exactly how I left it. Just shy of half a million casualties inflicted by the Mexicans. Uh, apparently that's uh, enough to put us actually on the scoreboard this time. I need a German railway gun. Let's see if I can't do a little bit of trolling here. Operation Troll commence. Yeah, I think the sad part is even if we did capture it, it was overrun anyway. It would have flipped to France, but either way we are helping. Uh, there goes another one, along with a uh, um, you know, <laughs> way more important troops. Remember, it was your parents and your history teachers and your government officials that have lied to you. It was the Mexicans that liberated Paris. And me just leading the charge into Germany, just ignore the UK up there. It was totally me. No, definitely me, 100%. I know there was that whole race for Berlin thing in real life, but this is taking it to a whole of a biscuit. We're going straight for there we go! We're in! <laughs> Confused you'd be as a Polish person when you're getting liberated by the Mexicans. Slated and apparently left uh, their mess all up to the, the Romanians. Let's see what they make of that. Uh, I gotta say, because when I did, what, 460k there, 686k there, um, probably a bit more to a few of the, uh, the other little miners around here. I think I did pretty well, because when I've only taken 28,000 losses, a lot of them to the Spanish. Oh, and there goes the peace conference. I don't really think we're going to be getting anything here, but we did actually get on the board. So... Wait a second. There we go. <laughs> the Mexican Republic. Uh, really uh, not too sure why the UK decided just to occupy some of it themselves instead of letting me take it. But they did fight me for all of my points for these two provinces. So you know what, Churchill? Stick it in your pipe and die of alcohol poisoning. Ah, but there you go. There is our brave world. Um... Sure. Uh, I mean, I guess it's not too far off an Iron Curtain, just not a hundred percent, but there you go. That was Mexico, Democratic 
Catholic Mexico. And you know, I do gotta say this one was incredibly fun. Uh, you could build up a pretty intense industry as Mexico, and I'm sure you could get even more if you did keep going and uh, taking all the land down here, but considering that's what I've already done with the Trotsky path, I didn't really feel like doing it again, plus it was pretty late anyway. Uh, but yeah, that was actually one of the best ones we've done so far, really. Uh, you get a whole lot of buffs to your uh, industry alone from this path, which is really good. Both the construction speed, which helped a lot, and of course the uh, consumer good factories here and through the advisor down here. Both very good, including getting him as a leader too. Uh, you could build up very strong as the Mexican Republic. Uh, probably not as overpowered as the Soviet path, but still very fun. And if you haven't tried it, feel free to give it a go. Um, go you can do the opposite path that I did too. You can go ahead and go the right side over here. I'm sure that leads to you just pummeling the US more than likely. But alas, Timmy, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, hit the subscribe button down below, and maybe hit the notification bell if you really hate yourself. But until next time, goodbye.